John, can you talk about the Wednesday and especially Purcell and Ben Ten Intendi? You know, both guys uh, were, were throwing a heck of a game into the fifth inning. Uh, Rick, uh, you know, they're matching pitch for pitch or zeros uh, into that uh, fifth inning. And, you know, we're able to bunch a number of, you know, two, run, two out base hits together. The big hit, obviously, with Benny, but uh, we were able to turn the lineup over. And, and at the bottom of the order, where Panda beats out an infield base hit, Sandy bunts against the shift. Uh, so some, some good awareness inside that, uh, but still, the, the quick strike ability offensively was the key in this one. John, in spring training, you talked a lot about combating shifts. Was that something Sandy did on his own, or did you guys encourage that? No, I, you know, we want our guys to play the game. Uh, we talk about a number of different situations. Uh, in the moment there, you know, he's a guy that he's going to get a number of shifts against, particularly left-handed. Uh, it's something he did a couple of times in spring training. So that's, uh, th that's an attack on Sandy's part that he's worked on, and, and it worked here today. How much did that kind of open up the rest of that? <laughs> well, it extends the inning. Uh, it turns the lineup over. Petey, who had had really good at-bats uh, with nothing to show for it in the first two at-bats of the game uh, for him, uh, then he gets the hard-hit base hit up the middle, and then, you know, Benny with the, you know, the, the big blow in this one. Yeah. How encouraging was it to see the power swing there for Ben Tenney? You know, his swing is so effortless and smooth. You, you can't tell if he ever overswings the bat or not. But uh, for a guy of his stature, uh, th there's such great timing and fluidity to the swing. Uh, he creates easy power, and that was the case on that swing. What did you think about the spark that uh, Jackie gave you both with the, the catch against the bullpen and the, the triple? Yeah, I, I tell you, for him to go full, full tilt uh, and then be able to come under control in basically one stride and not slam into the wall, that, that was one heck of a play. And... I think it gave us a little momentum. It was a little bit of a spark. Cole had been throwing the ball outstanding. Uh, and then he gets a fastball in the middle of the plate on a day when, you know, Cole was dominant through the, you know, the, the first four-plus innings. Uh, but uh, I think any time you see a triple, it's probably the most exciting play in the game uh, and further energizes. Yeah. John, besides Ben Tenney's swing, he's also got that approach. He laid off, a, I think, a curveball right there at home run. You talked about his approach. Yeah, you know, we, we talked about it uh, – Pretty much from the time he's come to the big leagues, he's got a short track record, we know, but there's never been evidence of panic, uh, even in a two-strike situation. Uh, he sees the ball extremely well. You know, he's got a true understanding of the strike zone. A pretty special young player. You talked about that bullpen being fluid. What did you think of the job done, especially by, by Scott Pembry in the eighth? Yeah, you know, as we talked about before the game, without a, uh, you know, a lockdown eighth inning guy, we're going to have to mix and match. The, the guys have been throwing the ball of late coming out of spring training were the three that were on the mound before uh, Kimbrell today. So, um, you know, Polanco clearly much stronger against right-handers. And for the one pitch, he did his job. Uh, and Embry, once again, strike thrower with good stuff. Yeah, uh, six innings today. Uh, I think he threw right around 88 or 90 pitches. There was an uptick in overall stuff. So it was an encouraging day for him. Uh, we have yet to discuss, uh, you know, what the next step is. Uh, but uh, for what he set out to do work-wise, he was able to accomplish that. John, do you feel like Rick tired a little bit in the seventh inning? You know, when we uh, extended the inning in the fifth, uh, it started to take its toll after a long inning. Uh, you could see the stuff maybe, uh, maybe got a little bit tight going out for the sixth inning. He got through it fine. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, anytime you're starting to elevate pitches or his cutter was, you know, up and into Cervelli, uh, th those are pitches where, you know, maybe fatigue starting to set in. Uh, how encouraging to have Rick kind of follow up on last year with this type of performance for Oakland? You know, uh, Butch, very, very capable on his part. Uh, you know, we've talked about his preparedness, uh, his competitiveness. All those things were, were here. Uh, he was ready for today. And, uh, was very strong through six. And really, to me, kept the game under control. Uh, did a great job of controlling their potential running game with the varied looks and holds. Uh, Sandy helps them out with a, a throw out of uh, Polanco at second base. So you know, Rick was more than primed for today. John, with Craig, how did you feel about his mechanics and direction and control coming out of spring? You know, well, I thought in spring training he had uh, much better direction, much more consistent uh, he yanked a couple of pitches today, no more so than the 1-2 the curveball to, to Frazier. Uh, but um, still, uh, you know, there, there were a number of quality strikes well located with, you know, the premium velocity he has. Any other questions? Right, 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 right. Sorry, yep. Just quickly, John, um, 
to having the Patriots as part of the, the pregame festivities and the ceremonies, what, what was it like pregame? I don't know that, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly partial and biased, but uh, our ability to put on a, a pregame ceremony, you know, is probably debatably the second to none. Uh, and whether it's the flyover, whether it's uh, involvement by other sports teams in our city, but, uh, you know, anytime Tom Brady walks on the field, it's going to draw a response, and it's pretty neat. Uh, we've had that a few times with him and others there, with, with Mr. Kraft and others. So a, a very good display.